uh, became interested um, uh, in, in the evolution of algorithms and the, the role that sort of autonomous computing is, is playing in our world right now. Um, interestingly, at, um, uh, when I, there's a lot of things you can do if you're smart and you can make computers do whatever you want them to do. Uh, when actually uh, Steve once asked me, well, heck, if you guys are so smart, so why don't you cure cancer or something uh, good for the world? What are you doing, um, you know, just advertising? And, uh, you know, it's, uh, I'm actually kind of not ashamed of advertising. The, a report just came out uh, this week from uh, Harvard and the uh, Interactive Advertising Bureau um, attributing uh, to uh, ad-supported internet um, 5 million jobs, uh, 500 billion in economic value, uh, which is about 3.7% of the U.S. GDP. Uh, so I think somewhere in there, there's somebody who's, uh, whose life was saved by all this economic value, uh, meaning someone uh, was either donating money to uh, some uh, cancer-curing <laughs> charity or otherwise uh, being able to send some uh, kids to medical school uh, to learn to be a doctor. So it's a, I think it's a pretty cool field where we're sort of curing the economy and trying to goose it a bit by making companies smarter about getting their products into the hands of consumers, and that's what really kind of makes this whole thing work. So without further ado, uh, I'll have Chris come up. I think the agenda will be uh, Chris will speak for about uh, uh, half an hour on some topics from his book, and then we'll uh, move into a panel discussion to kind of talk further about AI and Madison Avenue. So thanks, Chris. Okay. Well, thanks for that great intro. Uh, thanks to Rocket Fuel for having me here. Um, We'll see if I still feel that way when, when we're done. Uh, I don't want to get jeered off. But um, when, uh, when I set out to write this book, originally it was going to be something all about Wall Street and how algorithms have taken over Wall Street. And that's what I had been covering uh, at that time at Forbes. It was a really fun thing to cover because there's always something ridiculous going on. You know, some algorithm going bananas and losing this money. and. There were all these weird characters underneath who had kind of been the first to figure out how to do this. And uh, as a journalist, that's what you want. I mean, you, you want all these strange stories. There's always something you can pluck and write a story on at any moment. Um, so again, I was going to write about how Wall Street had been taken over by these automated trading bots. And writing a book, you know, um, Steve would know it's very, it's very serious. It's for serious people. Um, it's very serious business, book writing. And uh, you, you have to be careful when you write a book because, uh, as I said, it's very serious. And um, when you write things, all of a sudden people start taking you very seriously. Uh, crazy things start to happen. People want you to show up and talk about this serious book you've written. Uh, you, can get, you can get into a lot of trouble uh, when, when you try to be so serious. Um, so you really have to be careful. Uh, you get 